Kentrell Kraft, one of those guys that you just can't miss on the field. He can go and line up everywhere in the slot on the outside. And even on the outside, he's not the biggest guy. He's not the fastest guy, but he just finds a way. He's our best player on offense. Now, Kentrell Kraft is really a guy that has focus to him. Like, he focuses. What do I mean by that? Well, a ball's thrown to him. It's pretty rare he's going to drop the pass. I mean, just look at these throws. Look at this hit he's about to take. That's a big-time hit he just held on to. But just looking at all these passes and all the things that he's done for us, we definitely need to get him some help. Kentrell Kraft grew up in a two-parent household, was raised the right way, had good grades, all the way up until college where, oh, yeah, he did even better. Made the Dean's List his freshman year. Well, Kentrell, now he's showing the country what he can do and who he can be. A star at a small school in the middle of Denver, Colorado. Will he get the national attention he deserves? Only time will tell. But Kentrell Kraft is the real deal. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the CTU Lions Dynasty. We are coming off of the recruiting special. We are one and two facing a top 25 Auburn team who is two and two, and they are missing their star quarterback. For four weeks, a torn tricep, Corey Bush will be out. He is a dynamic playmaker. So who will they turn to? Well, they turn to Trey Lewis, a sophomore quarterback, a true pocket passer, but he has thrown five touchdowns, zero interceptions so far this year. He really shows some definite playmaking with his arm alone, but it does help that he has a very good running game with Salas and Burton behind him. And then also a pretty good receiving core. Gay has four touchdowns on the year. Salas has two and he's out of the backfield. And then their defense is always solid. They don't have the big time stars this year, but they're still pretty good. Jason Walker up front is their one of their highest rated guys on the defense. And we will be in for some work today as we play our second game on the road this year. Now, I do want to throw in Brian B.J. Johnson into these packages. I said last episode that he is the best route runner on our team, and he is a tight end, and I definitely want to get him the ball. So I will be adding more plays as well to our playbook to at least get us comfortable moving the football down the field. It seems like a lot of times we're in these third and long situations where we can't convert. I want to get it to second and short. Make sure we throw the defense off. Show some balance as well. So here we go. We are wearing our white alternates for the first time this year. Let's get this game underway as we are in Alabama. We'll see if we can pull off the upset. It's going to be a tall task, but we're facing their backup quarterback. So maybe there's hope. So here comes Auburn out on offense to start this game. Lewis, the pocket passer, throws the left side on the first play. That one is way overthrown. It looked like the pressure was there. He may have been spooked on that one. Running a little read option, looks like. Here is Salas, handoff up the middle. Vincent Showcross on the stop. That brings it to a third and seven now. Salas, handoff up the middle. It looks like that's going to be a stop by Showcross again. It looked like Joseph Crawford Jr. was in on the stop as well. And that will result in a three and out. How about that? So here we go on offense. Here is Jack Solomon back at quarterback. He's been benched a couple of times in favor of B.J. Johnson, but that time he shows off his legs, gain of 13. Hand off this time to Adam Roth. What are those new plays we installed right there? That one doesn't work, but hopefully that sets us up for a play later in the game. Second and 10 now. Here's a throw across the middle. Adrian Shields has got it. We need another guy to really take over that number two spot as far as playmakers go on the team. We know about Kentrell Craft. Need to get somebody else going. Hopefully it's Adrian Shields. First and 10. Here's a read option. Solemn keeps, and he puts this one on the ground. It's picked up by Jones on the defense, and he has nobody in front of him. That's going to be six the other way for Auburn. We stop them on their first drive, and then all of a sudden we fumble it, and just like that, our drive is over. Auburn comes through. It looks like the left arm may have got on the ball that time and punched it away. And it's going to be 7-0 just like that in favor of Auburn. 
So back to receive the next kickoff is Mookie Richardson. Maybe he will be the next playmaker. He takes it to the left side. He's got space to the 50, across the 40, and on the other side of the 50 inside the 40-yard line. It's going to be a big-time return, setting us up right where we were just at. So here's Salem getting out of the pocket, and the pressure gets to him on the first play. It's going to be a loss of eight. He may have had a guy on the left wheel route on that play. It brings it to a third and 18, a quick throw across the middle. That is caught by Adrian Shields, a gain of 17, but it will be short of the first down marker. So now fourth and one. We line up to go for it. Adam Roth, he's following his blocks up the middle and does pick up a gain of six. It's a first down. This drive continues. It's a first and 10 under, under center this time. Here's Kentrell Kraft across the middle. Picks up his first catch of the day, gain of six. He is really gaining some national attention so far through the first three games. As you're the throw out to the right side to Jackson. Jackson, and he gets turned around the wrong way. It's going to be a loss of four yards on that one, bringing it to a third and eight. Solemn in the pocket. Nobody to throw it to. He just gets rid of this one out of bounds. We're in field goal range here, so we will settle for three. In comes Gomez, and he will knock it through. And Alexander Gomez gives us a little bit here back from that seven-point uh, deficit earlier. So now here is Salas handing the, or running the ball to the left side, and that one will be an option. How about Lewis running the option? He's not really a mobile quarterback, but they still are running the same type of offense. So here he is, keeping this time. He gets lost in the backfield, and that is Crawford Jr. and Tyler Ashley there for the stop in the backfield. Looks like Lewis didn't know what to do with that one. That brings it to a third and nine now. Here's a screen pass out to the right side. Salas has it. He's going to have the first and more, and he breaks another tackle across the 30-yard line, and they will have a flag on that one, but it's going to be offsides on the defense, so the big gain will remain. Running Landry in motion this time. Lewis, another option. He pitches it out to Landry. Landry's got space on the boundary, and he gets to about the five. They're going to call that a pass on that one. It looks like he pitched it forward, but if that was a pass, that should have been a legal man downfield. Here is Lewis now inside the five. Touchdown. He gets in, and he is not a mobile guy, but he's showing that he can still run this option offense. So here is Jack Solemn back on offense. A quick throw to Brian. B.J. Johnson getting his first catch. We've moved him up kind of in these packages. You see right here he's in the slot as well, bringing it to a third and two. Solemn throws to the right side. He's going to find Kentrell Kraft. He gets to about the 38 for his second catch of the game. It's a first down. So now first and 10 at the 38. Here is B.J. Johnson taking it to the left side, and he will have space. He gets to about the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 18 yards. And we're across the 50 for the third time today. As here is Solom now with a fresh set of downs. Throwing on the run, and he tried to get it to Adrian Johnson out of the backfield, and it was just a bad throw. It was way off. Should have been picked off. Third and 10, Solom has an open running back, and he can't hit him. And it's going to be incomplete. Fourth and ten, we will punt this one away as we are still in the first quarter. Here is Lewis taking it up the middle. Look at that athletic play by Trey Lewis. A gain of 15 yards on the option keeper. And who said he's not athletic? He just jumps right over Sion Okafor on that play. So first and ten, here's a dump off pass to Salas. That's going to be a tackle by Jamarcus Lexington, but a gain of ten, enough to move the chains. Lewis, another handoff, Salas, and he does get stopped. Vincent Showcross making a few plays this year already, already two tackles in the backfield today. Third and five, here's a quick throw. Gay has it, and he breaks free up the middle. Perfect blocking by the Tigers. It's a touchdown. Ethan Gay, their leading receiver, scores his fifth touchdown catch of the season. That brings it to a 21-3 lead. As here we are running the option here. B.J. Johnson checks into the game. It's a gain of seven up the middle. Now a third and three. Solemn throws to the left side, and that's going to be dropped by Shields. So he made a big play earlier, and now he drops that one. And now we're going to have to punt this ball away again. Here is Lewis now. 
Running the option, but it looks like he tripped over Mason Stonebreaker for a loss of one. And look at this. It, he just tripped over his feet. He had Stonebreaker completely fooled. Third and nine. Landry with a catch across the middle. It looked like we were in coverage that time with Bo Rocky, but Rocky did not react to the pass right across his face. He couldn't get to it. So now across the 50, here is Trey Lewis. Loss of one yard on that option keeper. Elijah Green was in the backfield that time. So third and nine, Salas, a draw play. He loses three yards. This time it's Joseph Crawford again. They settle for the long three. That one is knocked through. So now we're down by three scores and at this point we gotta try everything we have because we have fallen fall down too far now in this game and we're still in the second quarter. So now third and nine, Solemn in the pocket. Good blocking, he tries to buy some time. Rolls to the right side, throws deep for Kentrell. Kraft and he's got it. We said that he was one of the best guys with his focus and this is what I'm talking about. When he's in traffic, he will make the catch. He focuses on the catch, he knows where the hits are coming from and he makes that big time grab. Gain of 48, here's a quick throw by Solemn. He was looking for Kraft but that throw is way off. Third and nine, Solemn throwing across the middle. Jackson, Jackson had maybe a step across the middle, but Solemn overthrows him again. We have to settle for three points. We are still in the second quarter. There's been a lot of offense so far in this game. Here's a quick throw across the middle. That's Jerome Landry for a catch. Gain of nine is there across the 50. Handoff, second and one. Salas throws off a defender, and it's a first down. It looks like Alec Robinson couldn't bring him down on that one. Robinson lost his impact star from last week. Here's a quick throw. Anderson has it in a nice tackle by Showcross. It's a gain of six for Auburn though, first down. Under a minute and a half to go. Salas, another draw play and another flag. 15 yards free for Auburn. It's gonna be a first down. They're inside the 20 yard line now. So we'll see if we can stop them here, maybe even create a turnover, but the chances are slim. Trey Lewis running the option. He runs a man in motion. He has it in the pocket. He's not gonna hold the football and throw it to the right side. That's gonna be incomplete. And they're gonna be, it's gonna be a legal man downfield. And now that's gonna bring it to a fourth and eight with a loss of down 27 to six now, back to a 21 point lead. So now with about a minute to go here in the first half, we're gonna try to get some points on the board. That's a gain of 10 for Jackson. Jackson, we hurried up to the line now. Solemn running a counter play to left side. It's gonna be Adrian Johnson, and he picks up a gain of five for the counter play first down. Solemn now changing the play a little bit here at the line of scrimmage at the 40. Play action fake, throwing across the middle. This one is picked off. He was looking for Mookie Richardson. It's gonna be Blake on the opposite end of that. Two turnovers, one interception, one fumble here by Jack Solemn. And this Auburn defense is now starting to be suffocating. And now here they go with about 10 seconds to go. Here's a throw to the end zone. It's almost picked off, but probably wouldn't have got a foot in bounds for Jerome Henry. So Auburn will settle for three making it 30 to six going into halftime. Auburn doing probably what they should, blowing out CTU. So second half action now. I wanna see what Solemn can do here throwing the football. We need to get his confidence going before we head into conference play next week. As we'll see what he can do in the second half. Quick throw across the middle. How about Kentrell Kraft? He got that one and just shot out of a cannon. Gain of 21 yards. 90 off of five receptions. It seems like Kentrell is just money every single week. I mean, we can depend on him every game now. Here's a quick throw. Adrian Shields with a catch and a first down. Three for 53 for Adrian Shields. If we can get about 70 yards out of either Mookie Richardson or Adrian Shields, that will kind of help alleviate the pressure off of Kentrell Kraft. Is now here a solemn throwing to the sideline. I don't even know who that was to. Way overthrown and out of bounds. Why not line up to go for it here? Down by more than three scores. Fourth and five. Solemn throws, looking for Jackson. Jackson, that one wasn't even close. 
in the face of pressure, it's tough to play with a quarterback that's kind of inexperienced. He's a junior, but just can't make that throw. So here is Salas back out onto the field. Here is a handoff and a gain of 11. And Auburn has run the ball well with this read option, even with a pocket passer in Trey Lewis. Here he keeps it to the right side, breaks a tackle. This time he's losing ground. Back to about the 47-yard line. It's a loss of five yards. Elijah Green on the stop. Third and 16, Lewis. No pressure, throws, incomplete. So we do get a punt here in the second half for Auburn. Auburn. And now we come back out onto the field. This time it's B.J. Johnson into the game. He takes it up the middle for a gain of six. Quarterback power. I love to run that play a few times a game. I'm definitely going to start to run it more. Here is Solemn throwing off his back foot. Absolutely nobody to throw it to. Maybe we should have just took a shot. Kentro Kraft had one-on-one -on -one coverage. Third and four, Solemn. He's going to throw across the middle. That one almost intercepted by Ronaldo Lopez. Fourth and four, why not go for this? We have nothing to lose at this point. Auburn sends the pressure, Solemn throws, and he overthrows Adrian Shields. You can already see Shields was upset on that one, and that throw was not even close. And now Auburn inside the 10, starts the next drive. Lewis keeps on an option to left side. He cuts up field and gets in. It's a touchdown for Trey Lewis. This game was maybe over before it even started. Even with the back of quarterback, Auburn is just putting on a clinic today. 37 to six though, at least it's not you know, a huge blowout like 49 to six or something like that. But here's Adrian Johnson getting the handoff. And we really need to figure out the running game. We still haven't figured that out. As we're into the fourth quarter, Solemn. He's gonna have it in the pocket. Nobody to throw it to. He puts it on the ground. He did not want to force that ball. We may have thrown the out route on that one, but it looked like the defender was just sitting there waiting for him to throw it. So he held the ball. It's going to be fourth and 15. We're just going to punt this one away. Why even go for it on a fourth and 15? But Auburn now threatening to score inside the 10 again. Lewis from the pocket. Can we get any pressure? And we do. It's going to be a sack by Bo Rocky, who has shown the last couple of games he's had a sack in each one that he can possibly get after the quarterback. And I think it was damned if we do, damned if we don't in this game because if we would send pressure at Auburn, they have a good enough quarterback to get rid of the football and throw across the middle like this one. This one's Theo Johnson. He gets the one. And at the inch yard line, they will kick the field goal, at least showing a little bit of sportsmanship on that one. But that ends up being the game. Auburn actually does score another garbage time touchdown, making it 47-6. to Just a absolute blowout in this one Trey Lewis was player of the game for Auburn and they did their thing here at home like they're supposed to they move on to three and two we dropped to one and three and number 11 Auburn with this win should move up into the top 10 not like we're a good team or anything but a good win by them an absolutely bad loss by us but what do you expect we're in year one we're building up this program Trey Lewis went berserk on us. 20 for 6, 26, 288, one touchdown. He def definitely didn't even need to throw that much. I mean, their running game was dominant also. We tried to run the ball a little bit, and B.J. Johnson definitely helps with that, but we just haven't been able to figure it out. Salas had almost 100 yards. Lewis had actually 46 yards, believe it or not. Kentrell Kraft didn't get a catch after going for 90 yards. He had a drop today. Shields had 53 yards as well, but nobody else had over 10 yards receiving. So we definitely had to figure something out on offense, figuring out just how to get people open in space. And like I said, I'm going to continuously add to the playbook so you will see more um, aggressive play call as the season goes on as we figure out the offense. And I kind of like that. You know, in real life, you do install, keep installing plays as the season goes on. And I do pick the plays, and I try not to pick the same plays over and over. I don't do it at all. If I do, it's maybe like twice a game that I run the same play. But I definitely want to, you know, get into the habit of calling different plays, different formations, things like that. So good news. The only good news out of this episode is that we do have our first commit in Namdi Ugana Okafor. He is going to commit to us, and he will play Middle linebacker more than likely. He's going to take over for Vincent Showcross when he does graduate. He has excellent speed, great hit power as well. 
So we have our first commit as a two-star prospect in Ugana Okafor. And now we head into Big 12 play. We will face Kansas State, who's already 4-0. They beat Colorado. They beat Charlotte, Colorado State. And now they face Colorado Tech. So this is going to be interesting. They might sweep the Colorado schools in this season. But we will have to see. Kentrell Craft is at 29 for 453 on the year. Adrian Shields showed off, showed what he can do this game. So I'm happy about that. Maybe we're just going to have to get Shields the football a little more. He's He's got good acceleration, so he can create some separation with his quickness. And he's got okay speed. 81 isn't obviously blazing, but I do want to try to get Mookie Richardson the football. His catching is a lot lower than the others. But he does have the speed, so maybe we can use him in option situations. Who knows? But I definitely want to add to that as well, along with getting Mike Marone the football also. So we're one in three to start the conference. You can already see we're getting outscored 60 to 137 to start this year. So we definitely have some work to do. Let me know what you guys think of just strategy going forward, heading into conference play. We have a tough matchup versus Kansas State, so we'll have to see how that will go. But hit subscribe, hit that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money. I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side. This how we slide. This how we ride. Yeah, yeah. This how we ride.